digital transformation is really the uh, opportunity now for uh, telcos to become uh, techcos, uh, to move uh, only from focusing on voice and, and, and messages that is uh, having less and less in terms of uh, revenue to uh, enable the digital transformation for many sectors. Um, the health sector is being digitized. The transportation sector, we are now having connected cars. Uh, the um, uh, banking sector is moving to digital financial services using mobile payments. So all of the sectors in the industry are moving to uh, digital platforms that need the connectivity provided by the, uh, the telcos. Uh, they need the data centers that the telcos are building and they need the overall services and, and the packaging that goes over the already existing telecommunication infrastructure. Uh, digital inclusion is critical because today we still have 2.3 billion people unconnected. So if you're not connected to the network, you cannot really be taking advantage of the digital platforms and the, all the services that go on top of them. So inclusion is a, a necessity because uh, uh, to include the people that are not uh, currently on board, uh, but it's also a great business opportunity because the more people connected, um, the more services and, uh, and products in terms of the digital space could be uh, enabled and could be served to those, uh, those people. Uh, for instance, there is 1.7 billion adults without a bank account. Two thirds of those adults have a mobile phone. So how can we take advantage of those mobile phones to include those people in the banking sector? Even if their transaction accounts might be a few dollars uh, a week, um, it will create a credit history. It will enable them to have um, microcredits and it will enable them to even sell their products uh, in the farming sector from agriculture directly to, to consumers. at COP28 here in Dubai and also a Telecom Review Summit. There is also the World Radio Conference uh, taking place uh, here in Dubai. Um, green has not been on the agenda of the negotiators at COP uh, in, the, in the past. This year, the ITU has taken the initiative to create a digi green digital action track uh, in partnership with other governments and other um, private sector entities, other standards organizations, to really bring to the attention of the environment ministers around the world, uh, the negotiators for the COP28, the importance and the opportunity that digital can bring to the table in reducing the carbon footprint of other sectors. The digital growth in our sector is um, really centered around data and AI and machine learning. All of the discussions we're hearing today at Telecom Review Summit um, really focus on how telcos are taking advantage of artificial intelligence to optimize their network infrastructure, to optimize the retention of customers, to uh, optimize the time it takes to do a customer call you know, for support. Um, AI and data are critical in terms of uh, really taking advantage of the technology that we have today, all of the machine learning models, uh, all of the massive amounts of data that are being collected to provide uh, not only anticipation, but to actually solve problems in real time.